Tyrone, so found a quick gap before a, a conference call. So um, basically what happened was um, on finals day, uh, the swell had dropped quite a lot. Um, you were there, so you see, you saw what was kind of going on. And, um, you know, I'm used to surfing bigger waves and smaller waves with no power don't really offer too much to me. And with Shane Simpson in the mix, um, I knew that it was going to be difficult because he's a lot smaller than I am and light on his board, so small waves aren't really a problem for him. So I'd been watching the point for quite a while and every now and then um, uh, odd decent set did come through, but um, it was a little bit slow and it was always going to be a risk kind of going up there. So before my heat, I watched it for quite a while and I timed it and saw that there were some opportunities there. Um, so I made the gutsy call of, of going to the point and waiting it out. And I let Tom know, who was in the final with me, that I, that was my plan. Um, and he said, it, it's cool, he's going to stick to the beachy. Um, and then before the heat started, I basically chatted to the head judge and I was like, listen, during this heat, um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the point um, just to make sure that you know that I'm there. Um, I will wave to you every now and then. Um, and I let gigs know beforehand as well that I was going to go sit up there. So when I went to time calls um, and him to make the judges aware that I was taking a wave, um, you know, he would call it out over the mic. Um, and yeah, it paid off. You know, I got my two scoring waves within the first, I think, maybe 10 minutes of the heat, if that. Um, and I was pretty happy with it, um, hearing the other kind of scores dropping from the other guys in the heat. Um, and once I felt comfortable, I kind of waved Tom over, who was sitting patiently on the, the main beach break, um, getting the scraps. Um, and as soon as Tom kind of got over to me, um, it went a little bit quiet. So I made my way paddling furiously across the beach to um, go and sit on Shane so that he didn't kind of pick up any good waves to get the score while I had priority. Um, bit of a dick move. I don't generally like doing that and sitting on another competitor, but you know, I felt like I'd been snuffed um, in the round of 16 already, so it was my best option to do. Um, so yeah, that was the strategy going into it, um, and it paid off, you know. I, I would rather surf waves that suit me than trying to grovel on something and get pretty poor scores. Um, and yeah, a couple of heats later, um, Giggs used the same strategy um, and paddled out there and it paid off for him as well. So that's the story in a nutshell. Um, and yeah, it helps being aware of the conditions and spending time at the beach that you will be surfing at to suss out um, how the tide works, where the better waves come through um, to use the location to your advantage um, and I think we had done that pretty well leading into the the days before the contest so yeah that's the story in a nutshell um, but yeah smart surfing definitely pays off um, rather than you know not being aware and groveling when the wave doesn't work in your favor um, brilliantly done I was doing the commentary for live feed now so there's, there's two events the real one and the guys well, you know the thing is is if you look at Jack and Chris I surfed the answer in the US titles and they are so freaking good in small roly waves lesson learned from yesterday how to stay well away from those three creatures oh, thanks Grommy thanks brother I sent you a first one oh, did you? did you like it? yeah nice mate I'll see you at a WSL event soon. Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so yeah, I had to stay away from them and uh, it was either it was gonna pay out or not. It was like that was like put all the chips on green. Yeah. So uh, stay. Well, well I think they missed your tube, but we didn't. No, that's alright. Um, but you already had uh... I also once I got two sixes I didn't want to draw any attention to the peak. <laughs> I kinda of no. faded out. Well, the, yeah, the question I was asking, if you were on the inside... You, you heard sixes there, would you not go there? No one did. I, so thought, that, I thought at least one would come. I, they're, all, they're all playing for second. Yeah, yeah, well done, Geeks.